All right, what's going on, everybody? Let me get right into this. I'm not going to beat around the bush or anything, but there is a thing going on, I think, with so many people in this world, and we don't even realize what it is, but it is obsessive thoughts. And let me tell you why I know that so many people should watch this video and understand what I'm trying to say here, what I am saying here. Because when I was younger, I let these thoughts, these obsessive thoughts, almost run my life. And Here's something real quick too. I know I'm just, I'm getting right into it right away, but these thoughts, most of them, 90% of them, 95% of them, they're not even real in our heads. And we, we, we wake up and we start thinking about thoughts and we start thinking about this stuff. And what do you do? You act on them because you think that they're real. And and I have to tell myself this every day. Listen, I am not a perfect human being. I'm not saying that I have this all together because I don't. I don't have this all together. I still have to practice uh like awareness in my own life. I don't want to say these words that I don't live by and stuff because I just go from second to second day by day kind of guy. I'm not a guy. I don't I don't sit here and bullshit people. I don't beat around the bush with stuff. I get right to what I am saying to people and getting the point across. But you know, I wake up and I have these thoughts on my mind and I'm just sitting here thinking these thoughts they're not even real. Like 90 to 95% of them, they're just thoughts in my head. They're just thoughts that come to my head. It's just pictures of the past. It's memories. It's uh, things that you think you have to do and things that are saying, you know, come chase me. I'm there. You know, it's, I, I'll refer to this a lot in some of my other videos in the future, but it's like chasing the wind. It's, I have been chasing the wind my whole life and I didn't even realize it until a little bit ago and I'm 34 years old. This is how crazy this is. I hope, I hope you're with me this far in the video because this is so important to so many people. Your thoughts are not, they're not you they're 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 telling you to do something that you don't have to do they're they're making you do things that you don't even have to do in the first place you know and this is this can be dangerous this can be how can i say it this can be like poison in your life because i know I know because I have been obsessing my whole life with thoughts and it's really hard to explain to people that they're, 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 they might watch this, but then they're going to go right back to their lives and they're going to go right back to their thinking and right back to their thoughts and right back to what others are telling them about their thoughts. See. This is what I'm trying to say is that these other people have these same delusions and these same beliefs and these same things in their head that they think. And most of it is false. Most all of it is false. It's not even real. And, you know, you can think that that I'm I'm not smart and I'm not intelligent and whatever word you want to call me, but I know what it is to obsess and have these thoughts. And I'm trying to tell you that 
they are not going to get you nowhere. That's why I have to stop. I had to stop when I woke up today. I had to stop and sit here and think, why am I thinking all of this stuff? Like, why am I giving into it and, you know, thinking like, just thinking about it, just constantly thinking about it. And then I said, you know what? This ain't even true. It's not even real. It's just a figment of my imagination. It's a, it's a, uh, I don't, I don't, I can't quite come up with the words I'm trying to say sometimes, but it's a delusion. It's a delusion in your head. You know what I mean? And, and you can believe these things. See, this is what is so dangerous. People believe these thoughts. People believe that these thoughts are real and they think that they have to live out these thoughts and they think that they have to give in to them. And I'm not just coming across like any other person that's just telling you this for recognition and telling you this to look like I'm so much better or I'm intelligent and I'm smart and I've been there and done it and I got so much better. No, that's not the case. That's not the case at all. I have these thoughts all the time and I have to sit here and I have to accept that they're there. I don't try to, uh, it's, it's hard to explain. I don't try to run from them. I don't get angry over them. I just, I look at them and go, you're not, this isn't real. This is just in my head. It's it's an imagination. It's a delusion. It's a it's a thought telling me to do one thing or do another thing and I don't even have to do that thing. You, you know what I mean? What do you really have to do today? All you have to do today is you have to eat, you have to drink water, you know, you need shelter and clothing. And, and and then if you have bills, you need to pay those bills. Anything else is just trying to drive you into something with this society and with everything going on. And I said it before in another video. I don't know when I said it, but there's so many people in a hurry today. We're so in a hurry to go nowhere and to do nothing, you know. Listen, I hate to use this as an example because I know this man has done bad things, but he also speaks some things that I really, we need to be listening to because there's always two sides to a story. But anyway, this is probably, you know, to you that are watching, this is probably a bad reference, but Charles Manson if you watch videos, if you watch interviews of him talk about certain stuff that he talks about, I know so many of you think he's a nutball, he's a murderer, and you know, if he did what he did, he did that. That's that's on him. That's on his his mind and that's his life. But he also speaks about all of this how society is and how all of this works and your thoughts and the things that you think that they're they're just driving you they're just driving you somewhere that is it's gonna lead you to nowhere and and I lo I kind of lost train of thought of what I wanted to say and I do this sometimes in my videos but I don't edit my videos or nothing I just talk so I'm going to try to remember what I said, what he said. Yeah, he said something about we think these things, but then I don't know. I got to let it go. I can't think of it. It's I forgot what I was going to say and forgive me for that. But yeah, but these thoughts, I'll remember it while I go through the video here probably and I'll tell you what it was because it's a really important it's really, really important with what I'm trying to say here. And sometimes we have to use the humans that we look down upon in society. And, and you know, that we think bad things of. Because guess what? They are sons and daughters too, are they not? 
These are our own children that we're talking about here. These people that do these horrible things, these are our own children. And it all goes back to the thoughts. The, the thoughts is what gets people in trouble. It's what you believe. It's what you think is real and what you think is happening. And man, I really wish I could remember, but I can't. But the thing is, your whole life, you might have been gone your whole life. And I'm not preaching. I'm just telling you about my life too. You might have been gone your whole life. And these thoughts have been running your life. And you're, you're gone and you're chasing this thing every day and you're not finding nothing. Why do you think you're not finding nothing? Why do you think you're not getting nowhere? Why do you think you're always ending up? That's what he said. You're always, it doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter where you go. You're always going to end up here with yourself right now. You know, this video can be 20 years from now and I can be an older man and I'm still going to be with me in my own thoughts. You know, just because um, I go to Los Angeles and I'm in Pennsylvania, that doesn't make anything different. I'm still in my body, in my thoughts. You know, it, it's, and I'm sorry, I get a little bit excited when I do these because this is me venting out all of my shit too. This is me venting out all of my crap that I keep inside. And that's what I'm learning to do at a younger age so that I don't have to do this when I get older. Because you younger people, you are going to go through this phase where you are trying to find an answer and you are looking for things in the wrong places. What do you like to do? What are your hobbies? See, this is where you can over you can defeat these thoughts and and overtake these thoughts by doing something and staying busy by doing what you like to do how can you make a living off of this thing see i'm not there yet because i don't have right now i'm i'm broke i won't even lie to people right now in this video at this very time i'm broke i don't have the money to get the equipment and the things i need to really do what I want to do. All I can do is record videos of myself talking to you and venting out this stuff. And anyone who got this far in the video, you're probably wondering, why did you use Charles Manson as a example? You know, yet again, don't we understand this all goes back to the thoughts because look what we do because of what we think. Look what we do because of the thoughts in our head and what we believe or what we think is true or what we think we should do. Look at what we do with this, man. Look what we do with this woman. And I use him because he is a, a guy and there's many women too, but he is a guy that we pointed our fingers at and we said he is the worst of the worst. But guess what? That somebody's son, that somebody's daughter, he has a mom. He had a dad, did he not? You have you have had a mom or a dad, or you still have a mom and dad. Yes, we do have bad people in this world that do bad things. And you know where it comes from? Here in the thoughts. And that's why I said at the beginning of this, it's very important that we understand this because you can, you can stop this right now. If you're thinking about doing something stupid, it's probably some kind of delusion in your head. It's probably some kind of thought that is telling you, you have to do that thing or you have to be this 
for this group of people or you have to prove this point and you don't have to do that it is just your thoughts telling you these things i know because i go through it all the time i'm telling you because i do it whatever i tell you i did before or i still do it so it's kind of hard for me to be hypocritical on here you know and yes there is some times where i even say it a hundred times in my other videos i catch myself being a hypocrite and i contradict myself and i will end the video with this this is the biggest irony of this whole thing if you got this far with me thank you for getting this far you get it if you got this far. The whole irony of this is these obsessive thoughts get me to do what I'm doing here. They make me do these videos. So I can't call them a bad thing. And I can't call them a good thing neither. But Yet they are a good thing. See, that's the contradiction that lies in so many things that we're not understanding. We're not understanding these contradictions. Hot and cold, up and down, left and right, Japan and America. Can't you see that Japan's no different from us? They have mothers and fathers. They live how they live. They eat, sleep, and shit just like us. There's no difference, but there is a difference. It's a contradiction. It's all around us all the time. It's happening all the time. And if we see this contradiction, we can have some kind of peace and understanding why things contradict themselves. Like I said, this video it's a good thing that i'm doing this video but yet these obsessive thoughts can be bad so therefore there is the irony of it is that they're helping me do this video they're helping me get a point across to talk to you and have something to talk about but yet they can get people in trouble. They can make people kill other people. They can make people do bad shit to themselves and others. This is what I'm saying. This is the ultimate irony and contradiction with obsessive thoughts and with so many other things. War, uh, relationships, like war. We kill one another. You think that you're killing the enemy, but you're killing a human being just like you. Contradiction. What if that was your children and they just happen to be a different color? Uh, they just happen to turn Japanese. Would you kill your children? Like, see, this is the hypocrisy. These are really two important words that you need to remember. Hypocrisy and contradiction. Remember those two words because those two words I know can save you because they saved me in so many situations. I always look at the other person's what they are trying to say to me as much as what I'm trying to say to them. You see, it's never, it's never balanced out. The, the balance is always going like this. The yin and the yang is always in conflict. The white, the black part. The white, the black. It's constantly moving. If you think of the yin-yang thing and you think of it doing a circle, that's how life is. It never stops doing the circle. And you know, these thoughts, they never stop. But you don't have to give in to the thoughts like I don't have to give in to them. And I'm not preaching to you. I'm telling myself this too. And I don't know, I, I don't recommend anything to people, but I don't know where you're at. If you're somebody that this just completely overwhelms you, then you have to make moves in your own life 
to get out of that. You have to find a way for yourself. I can't find that way for you, brother. I can't find that way for you, sister. I can't do that for you, mother, father, uh, grandpa, grandma, son, daughter. I don't know who you are, but I can't do that for you. You have to do that. You have to stop and look at your own problems in your own life and determine what you need to do. But at the same time, you can't keep believing all these thoughts and you can't keep thinking that all this is real because it's a figment of your imagination, most of it. A lot of it is a delusion. I'm not saying that every thought you have is not real. I'm not saying that. But just look at your thoughts. If you're somebody watching this video, look at what you are thinking about right now and ask yourself, what has this done or has this happened or is uh, when I chased that thing, has anything come out of it or were you just chasing the wind? You were just chasing your pride and your ego. You see, you're always going to end up back with you like I'm going to end up back with me. It, it's just that's life. That's life. And. I am just making my life a little more comfortable with myself and with you by venting these things and talking about them because it will drive me nuts. It will drive me absolutely crazy if I don't talk about it. So this is my therapy. Maybe you can do the same thing. Start your own channel and talk about this stuff. I don't have the answer for you. I don't know the answer for you. Like I said, I'm going to end it with this. What is your hobby? What do you like doing? What are things that you like doing that can benefit you and others or benefit you? If you have to be selfish for a while, then you have to be selfish. That's what you got to do. <clears throat> but you got to find things that you like to do because if you don't, you will be stuck in your boredom, you'll be stuck in your thoughts, and you're going to keep repeating this cycle over and over. And the, the cycle keeps repeating, but you don't have to give in to the thoughts is what I'm saying. You can learn to, to stop for a minute and say, look, this ain't even real. And I don't know what will happen. You might have it lift off of you. You might keep thinking that it's real. I don't know. I can't, I can't judge someone else and I can't make things better for you. You have to do that for yourself. And confidence I give to you, my friend, whoever's watching. All the confidence to you. That's, that's what I want to give you. I want to give you your own confidence and your own you know, your own, uh, I don't want to say ego or pride or any of that. I want to give you an understanding and knowledge of these things. That's it. You know, I don't want to boost your ego. I don't want to boost your pride. I don't want you to get boastful. I just want you to see these things. So if you got something from this, you got something from it. But it, 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 it keeps going. It doesn't stop. We just have to learn to deal with it and see that our thoughts, like my thoughts have been doing this to me my entire life and I didn't even know it until now. I couldn't even tell you until I was 34 years old about this because that's how long it took me to understand it. And I'm still understanding it. So... Remember what I said, if you have to watch this video again, watch the video again, because it is for the better of you, not the worst. Yes, it can get worse, but it gets better. See, there's that contradiction. That contradiction is there all the time. So thanks for watching. Later.